this now for police. These surveillance snapshots are just what they need to catch those criminals. Mike? Patty, in the underworld of crime, there is the ingenious and the idiotic, the very serious and the very stupid. And tonight, a little bit of most of that, courtesy of the Phoenix police and a couple of well-placed surveillance cameras. They say that the camera never blinks. And in a world now full of cameras, that's not really such a bad thing. Especially if you wear a badge. Like veteran Phoenix police detective Bill Meredith, a guy who makes it his business to bust the bad guys. It's real nice when you can go into court and show a jury uh, the video that was filmed at the time of the robbery, showing the, uh, the individuals involved. Showing our guy in action, doing oh, his yeah. thing. And today, Bill showed us a couple of choice clips recently added to his collection. One very serious and one downright silly. A slapstick caper that starts with a man entering a Circle K near 7400 South and 7th Avenue early one morning this month. First, getting himself a cup of coffee and then grabbing a bag of pork rinds. But then the guy, later identified as 32-year-old Ronnie Jordan, ducks behind the counter and transforms himself from customer to alleged crook, donning a white mask with two eye holes cut in the cloth. But as you can clearly see on the tape, the hapless would-be hold-up man apparently has a bit of a problem when it comes to human anatomy. He's got the eye holes uh, misplaced around the top and the side of his head. And, and, um, and it's not like the clerk hasn't already seen him because right. he's put a cup of coffee and pork rinds on the on the counter. That's correct. And uh, you guys, you guys laugh. I mean, when you look at this, do you guys sort of get a chuckle out of this? Yeah, we do. And that's just the beginning of Ronnie Jordan's gas, as the ever composed clerk then calmly tells Jordan about the two cops sitting out in front of the store, at which time Jordan jerks off the mask and then actually offers to pay for his Java and junk food. Not necessary, the cool clerk says, who then accompanies Jordan out into the parking lot and kindly introduces him to the two awaiting cops who slap on the cuffs and cart Jordan off to jail. You guys all know that there are surveillance cameras. Most of the public now knows. Why don't these guys know? Why doesn't a guy like that cover his face? I think a lot of them just don't care.